I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. For the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Got the corner. Tackle at the 28. Iowa State's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. He's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Quick strike to the receiver. And they push him out around the 38-yard line. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Switch, switch, switch. And he's tackled at about the 49. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. It's almost picked. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From the 49-yard line, second down. Tackle made at about the 41. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. immediately tackled. Hey, not a huge play, but an effective play nonetheless. Be able to pick up a first down. Again, this offense right now just making good decisions, moving the sticks, and maintaining possession of the football. Brought down around the 26-yard line. They make the stop around the 30-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. And down he goes at the 22. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Only three yards there on the throw. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Iowa State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Makes it out to about the 36. That's a D11. That makes it first and 10. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He finally goes down at the 31-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Lewis comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. On the throw, incomplete pass. From the 29-yard line, it's third down. He 
He's wrapped up for the sack. They'll call on the field goal unit. If he hits this, we're all tied up. The kick is up, and it's wide left. No good. So the junior kicker isn't able to put it through. So we'll change possession with a score, 3-0, Iowa State. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Iowa State holds a field goal lead. He's got an opening. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. Five wide. They'll bring him down at the 48. throws a dart to the right. It's picked off. It's the junior. He goes out of bounds at the 36. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. From their own 36-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick strike, and he drops it. That makes it second and ten. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Tackled right around the 44-yard line. Milton is back deep to return the punt. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. Iowa State is up by three. And the safety with the interception. To the 20. To the 10. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. It's first down. Knocking on the door here is first and goal inside the five. They're packed in tight on the line. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Lang from the two. He's taken down at the 27. Crystal foul. Basement. Defense. Still first down. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Hall gains around three yards on the run. 
That'll make it second and seven. Let's check, go! Check. Green and three, three, three. Zips it to the back. Inside the 30. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down and six. Ball on their own 46. Gives it right side. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and six. Down at the 29. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yards. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And this brings up an interesting situation. If you have faith in your kicker, then I'd take the three points here. Otherwise, I'd probably just give it to my halfback and let him put his head down and try to get the first. It's up, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Raging Cajuns lead it by one. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Hanson Baylor. Touchdown, Iowa State. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point the defense is keeping them in the game but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead he makes his way out to about the 35 he lets it go he goes up and gets it. And he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. And they get nice yardage on that run. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Fires it out, and he's tackled right away. 
Williams makes, makes the tackle. tackle. At the three yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That and makes it first and goal. And they're in. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's hit immediately. Gets it out quickly. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That'll make it second and four. Nice run, and he's brought down. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. He's level at the 36-yard line. Slings it. He's into the open field. And they make the stop right around the 40. time and now he's going to improvise and down he goes at the 17 yard line from the 17 yard line first down the raging cajuns running game just took a big hit their back went out earlier with that injury and now they're telling he's not going to be able to return today and he's tackled at the positive yardage. That's a team four. That brings him second and five. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the six yard line. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Iowa State is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's immediately tackled. First down. And they 
got him for a loss. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. They'll keep it on the ground again. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. He's hit and taken down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away. That's a tough break there for the kicker. And our score, 2014, Iowa State. last time out they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air you wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game makes the catch and the defense is all over him they bring him down for a loss from their own 37 yard line it's second down Iowa State up six Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. Well, the defense doing a great job of getting pressure on this quarterback. That time they brought the blitz, and the defensive line was able to break through and come up with a big sack. Run right side, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. When you get in these third-down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. He's tackled at the 34. It always astonishes me how quickly the field shrinks for a returner. You're looking up at the ball, and suddenly there's what looks like 100 guys bearing down on top of you. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it second and six. He scrambles. He's at midfield. Ball is loose. Fumble. The defense has it. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Cyclones had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. They'll bring him down at about the 21. Iowa State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Iowa State with a six-point lead. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. From the 17-yard line, first down. He's going left.
Kicks up, and it's good. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. We played a half of football. The Cyclones in front, 23-14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. At times, this first half looked like a hunk of raw meat being thrown into water with a bunch of piranhas going after it. A lot of, uh, a lot of turnovers being forced. Yeah. Tasty. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's interesting because turnovers come in bunches. I mean, it really does. Once you get one as a defense, it just seems like they continue to come. And somebody flies to the football, and they put a helmet on the on the football, it pops out, and then you get an interception. And, and you can see it. It definitely starts to be contagious, and people become thinking about it. People think about it more and place more of a premium on it, and, and people expect them. And once you expect them and once you keep working for them, because you do the drills all week long. You know, you do the drills where the guy's running down the field, you pin the arm, you take the other hand, you strip the ball out. You do the drills where you're coming towards the football, you make sure you go up, you high point it as a defensive guy, too, to try to get interceptions. And once you, once you start getting one or two, a lot of times they just keep coming and keep coming. And as a defensive guy, you're like, offense. It's all yours, dog. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at the 25. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Set. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. The Cyclones linebacker came out of the game earlier with an injury, and he is so key calling the plays in that front seven defensively. They need him back out there. Wide open, incomplete. Milton is back deep to return the punt. Booming kick. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 48. Decent run here, right side. He passes it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 47. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. He's at the 30. The 10. Tackle made at the one-yard line. 
Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception, boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They come out in a goal line set. Smith gets a pitch. Touchdown! And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he's taken down right around the 34. Iowa State holds just a two-point lead. He might have a chance. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Brought down around the 48-yard line. That's good for a of three yards. Third down. Check, check. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Gives it to the back. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a game on the That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 22-yard line. Gets past the tackler. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Iowa State with a two-point advantage. He's on the run, and he is drilled at the 20. Now he's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Two yards on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and 
and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's level at the 27-yard line. Defense has it. The safety. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. two-yard line. Play fake and looking to run. Decides to slide. He's got room. Tackle at the 11-yard line. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop around the 16-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. And they'll get him in the backfield. Points galore through three. An action-packed fourth quarter is on deck. Iowa State in front, 26-21. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. Good outside run there. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. Seven. 
He delivers. Intercepted. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. State holds an eight-point advantage. And he's tackled right away. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. It's second and ten. Ball on the 21. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Six yards on the That'll bring, bring up fourth and 13. 13. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. They line up to kick this one away. Taken from the three yard line. Tackle made at the 28 yard line. Iowa State's just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. And they've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at about the 35. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going to try and scramble. It's on the ground, and it's scooped up by the running back. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle made at the 47. That makes it second and two. Throwing right. Incomplete pass. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. with a sack and they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long not much you can do there you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance the offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive three down, three down. Three, 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 three. 
Here's a handoff, left side. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 19-yard line, first down. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The Ragin' Cajuns call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Just over a minute left. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. The Ragin' Cajuns using their third and last timeout. They line up in the jumbo set. Across the middle, tight ends got it, touchdown. The Cyclones knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for them in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 43-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Quick throw, almost intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. And that just might do it. Intercepted. Down the sideline. The 10. Touchdown, Iowa State. Big time touchdown by the defense, and that should do it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 29. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. Under a minute left in the game. They bring him down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Makes it out to about the 33. That's a D. On the ball, on the ball. That'll bring up 36. Down. Ben Boston. Ben Boston. Hey. Go, 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 go. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. This one was never close today. 46 21. 46. The Raging Cages. 21. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.